Introducing chili pan mi, also known as chili flat noodles. Things are getting spicy today. What's up everyone? I'm Wayne Liu. Welcome to a new eating show on Itoko. I really want to do more eating shows like this. So please help me out by clicking on the subscribe button or like Itoko's Facebook page. Today we have chili pan mi, also known as chili flat noodles, which is a favorite noodle dish here in Malaysia. So here in this huge glass bowl, I have four portions or four servings of chili pan mi. I'm gonna introduce the ingredients in this noodle, in this bowl, one by one in a bit. Of course, I also have the soup here just to help me with eating later. And then on top of that, I also have about 20 wontons, right? To start things off, I'm gonna give all of you the first bite of the wonton. Looks good, right? And then I will go on to this, to this noodle dish. So this is chili pami. Again, first bite is for you all. So in this bowl, there's chili flakes. That's like the complementary ingredient. That's why it's called chili pami. And it has this, the noodles here is actually flat. It's kind of like fettuccine for those of you who are more used to that word. And then I also have, um, what do you call this? These are like meat, minced pork. So it's minced meat, minced pork meat. And then also I have here fried anchovies. And then last but not least, we have poached eggs. Here. I don't want to break the egg because it's actually one of the more important ingredients to make this whole noodle dish sticky and yummy. So let's get started. So this noodles here, I've left it sitting here for a while while I was setting up all the lights and stuff. So it's a bit, it, it probably hardened a little bit. So I'm gonna pour some soup around the bowl. before I stir it up. There's a lot of noodles, so super hungry. Let's get started. The bowl is spinning. <laughs> you no, you don't have to help me actually. Let me just, so as I'm stirring, the eggs actually breaks up and then you can see this slightly yellowish texture and sticky and shiny texture on the surface of the, nood of the noodles. That's actually the egg. And then on top of that, the chili flakes also get stirred in together. Now I want to make this more interesting for you guys. So I also have additional chili flakes. that I'm gonna just sprinkle on top of my noodles. Again, if you're watching this for the first time, I'm not comfortable with spicy food, but I just wanna challenge myself a little bit. Dig in. I'm not gonna use the spoon because it's tedious. I'm just gonna do something like this. Warning, it might look a little disgusting, but I don't care.
and start to feel the spiciness. I'll get some for you. Thank you. The hiccup is coming right up, so I'm gonna drink some water. Feeling much better. How did that egg got onto my face? Anyway. This bowl is actually too tall for me, so I'm having some slight difficulty eating. The spiciness is coming up. Noodles are actually good. Yeah. I was surprised because this is a new restaurant in town. I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. <clears throat> the last thing I want is to bite on like a bunch of chili flakes. I'm starting to sweat <clears throat> a little bit. Because of the spiciness.
Oops. I'm gonna take a break from the noodles. It's too spicy for me. Yeah, I think I went a bit <clears throat> overboard with the chili flakes. I don't know. Eat the wontons. Is that hot? This is so much better. One more. <clears throat> Before I start <clears throat> eating the noodles again, um, I was reading on the internet and this piece of news came across and caught my attention. It's the, so this, there's actually this organization called Unicode Consortium. And part of what they do is to dictate or to come up with emojis that we see on our phone or on, uh, on the keyboard or, or on our phone or on our, on our computer. And they decided to release a new series of new emojis so these in this series of new emojis they have like this like emojis featuring like disabled people so like people on wheelchairs people using crutches all that and then i was it's not to me it's not like an interesting set of emojis but one emoji that really stood out to me is the yawning emoji like a person just like yawning then <clears throat> why it's because there's so many uses for it like you can use it for when you're just like tired that like you just want like let's say you have a very active group discussion and people are just like chatting 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 and you can just go like i need to go to bed and then you put that yawning emoji what or the triple z I don't think that's like okay so i don't use that and another use for that yawning emoji is like when you are in a conversation with people and it's super boring mm. then you can go like as like a sarca sarcasm like being sarcastic to the other person like dude you're super boring and you're driving me like you're making me sleepy so like i can't i can't wait for the emojis to come out come out but like it will take some time like they are just proposing it and all the technology companies like apple samsung android which is um the operating system by google they will need to take time to put it into their systems as well but i'm really looking forward to this new set of emojis like but <clears throat> looking at my emojis keyboard right now there's so many emojis i'm just like wondering like whether there will be a point in time where like there are just so many emojis that some of them just don't get used at all because like maybe that's just forgot. yeah maybe you forgot like just how, like how i missed the triple z like all the person like falling asleep yeah. emojis so well let's see what happens after they introduce the new set of emojis before that or until then <laughs> okay I'll, I'll continue eating my noodles maybe you can eat some stuff. yeah sure you want some
not happy because someone is stealing my food. Yeah, sharing is caring. But still, I don't share my food. I'm reaching the bottom of the bowl <coughs> and there's so many minced meat and fried anchovies at the bottom. It's funny. And the saltiness of the anchovies. I really like it. It's becoming less spicy as well. I don't know whether I got used to it or... But... It tastes really good now. Also maybe the egg neutralized the... Mm. Neutralized. Maybe the egg neutralized the spiciness as well. Well, <clears throat> one thing is for sure. my butt will feel the spiciness too when I go to the toilet after this I'm actually planning, <clears throat> or I was planning for a trip to Japan, but turns out it's not happening, so we'll see. But before I continue, I just want to finish this one. So I was planning for a trip to Japan, which <clears throat> is not happening anymore. But while doing that, I again I come across this news article. So like you know, Kit Kat. So Kit Kat is very very popular in Japan, yeah. right? And this thingy, so Japanese pronounce it as Kito Kato, because like of the way they pronounce English words, they don't say Kit Kat. They pronounce it as Kito Kato. And 
the Japanese or like the Nestle in Japan kind of turn it into a wordplay because Hito means surely, must or absolutely. I think it's like that if I'm not mistaken. So like Hito is surely, must or absolutely. And then Kato, Kato, Kito, Kato. So Kato, Kato is win or like sure win. So like, no, wait. So there's a Japanese word. I think this is like this. So like there's a Japanese word called Katsudo. So like Katsudo is sure win, must win. And because of the word Kit Kat is being pronounced as Kito Kato in Japan. So Nestle in Japan, which is the producer or manufacturer of this Kit Kat, actually turned it into a wordplay called Kito Katsudo, which means absolutely must win right and all you are the absolute winner or something like that so kit kat <clears throat> is actually a gift that people give to students before they go for exams because of that so like you definitely do well in the exams kind of it's like a it's like a gift or like a protection or like a wish like something that you give out of like good luck to students before they go for their exams and for their tests and all which is pretty interesting you know to to us like kit kat is just like a chocolate that you take like the this the the marketing campaign they use for kit kat here in malaysia is like have a break have a kit kat i think that's the that's the campaign that they run here but like over there in japan because of how they pronounce kit kat as kito kato they turn it into something like that a gift that a gift that people give to students before their exams which when I read it I found it quite interesting because who would have thought just like who, who would have thought I can finish this huge bowl of noodles That's a big mouthful. All the anchovies are in my mouth right now. So I'm just gonna chew. Really slowly. <clears throat> I don't want one to get stuck in my throat. It would be super painful. Oh, there's no more noodles left. I have three wontons left. I'm gonna finish them really quickly. Mm -hmm. This is like the opposite of the noodles because the noodles are kind of soft and like chewy with the uh, anchovies and minced meat. But this is like crunchy. It's a good combination. You guys want the last bite?
that's it. I'm done with today's eating show. If you like this show, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up or click on the like button. Until the next show, please tell me what is your favorite food in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.